Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tech Codeo. My name is Bharat Kumar. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to run Olama models in Google Colab, right? For example, in this video, we are going to test 53 mini model to run in Google Colab. Got it, right? So guys, before going to the lecture, I'm requesting you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hit that like button. So before going to the free models, we have two main LLM models. One is OpenAI company and then second one is Anthropic. So these two are charging more money to use their models. Got it right? For example, GPT-40. They are charging $2.5 for million tokens and $5 for the output tokens. So approximately here, we are spending for 1 million input and output token $7.5. So like that, when we come to the cloud 3.5 Sonnet, it is charging $3 for input and then $15 per the output token. Here $18 completely. Got it right? So why to spend this much of money? We have Olama. Olama is giving these many models. These all are free models. You can use with the help of Olama. Got it right? For example, if you are a student, or else you want to test LLM models so you can directly install Olama and then you can test these models got it right but the biggest disadvantage is we need to offer more GPUs and RAMs that's why I shifted to the Google Colab in my previous video I thought how to build your own LLM model if you haven't watched that video please go and watch it out I'll leave a link in the i button got it right in that I used Llama 3 model in the local system got it right but here I'm gonna share how we can use in the Google Colab. So guys, in the first step, we need to install these packages. Langchain, Langchain Core and Langchain Community. Let's forget about OpenAI for now. So, just run this cell. You can see it is going to install all these packages. Why I'm going to install this package means with the help of Langchain, we are going to connect to the Olama model. So that's why I'm installing this Langchain. You can connect to Olama models using the Llama index as well. But here I choose Langchain. Then next, we need to install this Colab XTERM. So let's understand why this Colab XTERM is used. Because it allows you to open a terminal in a notebook cell with TTY support and it won't block your notebook kernel. So it is going to give us a terminal like this. So with the help of this terminal, we can able to install Olama models. Got it right? So now after installing this package, you need to load this Cobal XTERM. Then when you run this command, it is going to give us this terminal so here guys we need to copy this one and then we need to paste here but in my google Colab, i couldn't copy so i need to enter it manually yeah so guys i entered it manually what we are doing means we are going to install this dot sh file so from this olama right so when we connect to this install dot sh so automatically it is going to install olama in our terminal so let's run this press on enter so you can see it is installing Olama and downloading the Linux. Got it right. So let's wait until it completes. So guys you can see the installation is completed. Now the Olama API is available at this IP address. Now we need to execute one more command. Olama serve ampersand Olama run 53 mini yeah you can see guys the downloading has started one second we got one error your new public key is this one so let's forget about that let's run this again yeah so guys now you can see it is pulling the model 2.2 gb 2.2 gb 2.2 gb right the model is downloading so guys downloading the model has completed now you can see we can send a message to the model directly here hi there yeah you can see how fast it is giving replay. Let's ask a question. What is AI? You can see it is giving replay very fastly, right? Because of the GPU, it is giving this much fast. So when you run this on your local, it may take some time because of the GPU and RAM issues. Got it, right? So now, so in order to exit this one, yeah, you can see I just went back to the original kernel. Now from langchain community dot llms import olama llm equal to olama and then model name equal to 5 3 mini that we downloaded let's run this now let's run this question olama llm dot invoke what is generative ai hmm 
you can see guys we got the response from the model so now let's ask one more question what is data science guys you can see here it took 18 seconds and here it took 34 seconds it will depend on the gpu because when we run in the this kernel it is taking less than 5 seconds but here it is taking some time it depends on the gpu as well change the runtime let's use this one t4 gpu maybe not now maybe in the next video when we are building the rag application i'm going to use this t4 gpu got it right so guys that's it for the video in the next video we are going to build a simple rag application with this simple llama models so guys bye for now see you in the next video